In the deep, in the dark, can't fight the moonlight. No, yes, that is the mood. Are you guys ready for day three? Here's day three. Wow, day three started off beautifully, all the way from Port Piri to Cooper Pedy. The ride was absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you've got to do some geocaching along the way. But you've got to watch out for the wildlife. <laughs> I didn't actually see any snakes, thank goodness. And then I started to see these monoliths, which are like big rocks, all sticking out from the ground. It was fantastic. And of course, the salt lakes. Check out this one. It doesn't this look like an island just floating on a cloud, a white cloud? Wow. And just listen to the rock shelf, the rock formation as I walk across it. <laughs> and all this just to find a geocache. But check out the geocache in which I found. It was a dinosaur glued to the top of a rock. Oh, and the cache was underneath it. Oh, wow. That's on Instagram for sure. And then, of course, we went to Lake Hart. Lake Hart is one of the biggest salt lakes in Australia. Oh, sensational. And, of course, there's a, a traditional uh, right next to the lake itself, or right next to the salt lake. And there it is there in the tree. But I wanted, I really needed to get across this lake. Now check out and listen to the crunching under my feet and check out what the lake's actually about. Uh, so that was the earth cache done and dusted, photograph taken. It was off to Cooper Pedy. Cooper Pedy is an opal mining town in South Australia. It's very desolate, very dusty, but there was one particular cache there that I needed to get to fill my grid. It's a DT of one, four and a half. We had to shimmy up those poles to try and get it. You can see it from the ground. Luckily for me though, as I rode into my big bike, the painters that were there had actually taken the cache off the structure. They looked at me and they said, are you here for the jerk cache? Of course I am, I said. So they actually handed it to me while I was sitting on my motorbike. That's a DT of, uh, of one, four and a half, turned into a one, one. Now off to my bush camping site. Oh yes. Yeah. Check out this spot, would ya? <laughs> So I have my campfire ready to go as soon as it gets dark. As we pan around, I've got my sleeping quarters. My dinner's cooking. There it is there. And the big girl, what a good girl she was today. Another 800 kilometers today and she did really well. Meanwhile, the sun's just about to set. 